What's going on everybody? It's another Red Monday, so we got uh, Blood in the Streets for another consecutive week. Uh, I don't, I'm not too uh, I'm not too sad about it though, because I know it's just another buying opportunity. But at the same time, like some of my stocks are uh, down quite a bit. Um, I lost, you know, probably about half of my investment just just uh, over the last couple weeks from like what the, the market going down um, and the kind of crash we had. I wasn't expecting it, but at the same time, you know, it happens, and I and you gotta you gotta go with it. You can't you can't get too mad at it. You gotta see it as an opportunity. And although most of my money is in stocks already, um, I figured I'd give you guys uh, an opportunity with my stock pick of the week to understand uh, where some of my logic is lying and where some of my investments are. So currently, I have one of my biggest investments is in Namaste Technologies. Uh, now, I want to give you guys a quick um, description of the company and I just want to show you kind of overall the markets um, today and, and kind of the like you see um, it's kind of red all over um, nothing's really performing well um, pretty much everything is down um, bliss cannabis is up two percent and you know wildflower is like it's like it's nothing um, but or six uh, percent sorry but like by uh, two uh, cents what you see though uh, over the long term, or I should say long term, um, over the broader spectrum is just a, a large down day and a, and a down week, down uh, end of the month. So I think people are speculating or uh, speculative selling because you know a lot of people are scared. A lot of people don't want to get in. There's not a lot of buying happening. So that's why you see the kind of red. A lot of people are waiting uh, on the sidelines kind of to see how it all plays out and to see where the bottom of the, a lot of these stocks are. So one of the reasons why I want to talk about Namaste right now um, is because I think at the current price you're seeing a good valuation and a good ability to get in at kind of a, not necessarily a bottom, I think it, I could go a little lower than this and I just want to let you guys know just keep an eye on this and everything. obviously everything I let you guys know this is for information and entertainment, entertainment purposes only. Um, do your own research look into your own stocks before you know any stock I give you um, information or I give you hints or tips on just make sure you go and do your own research don't invest just on my opinion do your own research and and, and come up with your own decision but currently I want to explain to you why Namaste is in a position to become a global leader in cannabis and not and when I say global leader I don't just mean in cannabis flower I don't just mean in, in cannabis itself I mean in every aspect of the market. So I'm talking about vaporizers. I'm talking about uh, flour. I'm talking about oils, CBD. I'm talking about you know paraphernalia, bongs, uh, all kinds of things, rolling papers, all that stuff. The, these guys are the leading uh, platform for access to that kind of thing through their various websites that they own. They own 30 different websites in over 20 different countries and are expanding and expanding every day. And they're also selling their their platforms and e-commerce technology to other uh, cannabis online platforms and into other retailers that are trying to use this utilize this technology that Namaste uh, uses so when I talk about Namaste what we're talking about is a group a collection of websites that that run um, through Namaste MD and through Namaste um, vaporizer websites but uh, one of their biggest um, Things that they're working on right now, or one of their, I should say, one of their biggest achievements as of late is getting the first sales only license from Health Canada. So they have a non cultivation sales license only. So for uh, for Canmart and for uh, their uh, uh, their company essentially, uh, and their their wholly owned uh, subsidiary, uh, can't think of the name, something Marijuana Group or something like that, and they're producing uh, flour. Uh, as well, but they're also um, because they received their sales only license for Canmart. What they're doing is essentially they're grouping uh, a bunch of different companies and giving you the ability to to kind of like OCS does the OC, Ontario Cannabis website. Um, it allows you to essentially find any company's product on their website and to buy it because they have a sales license. So any company that maybe has a cultivation license but not a sales license, they can uh, wholesale their product to Namaste and Namaste can then distribute their product through Namaste, um, can, Namaste's own web, websites like Canmart uh, and everything, everybody does it uh, and 
a few other websites that and and these are global websites these are not just located in Canada and that's the big thing is they have market share in so many different countries you know uh, so one of the things I just want to show you guys is like for instance like um, if, if it, it won't give you a lot of information because you have to log in to get a lot of the information but if you look at some of these products like here for instance they have the brand so that like supreme cannabis like it shows you um, where these are coming from so these are these are from supreme um, fire um, cannabis so and 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 uh, the other ones are from tetra biopharma so this is like the C, their CBD strains um, uh, the RX princeps hybrid um, CBD strain is is um, mainly uh, well I guess it's it's, it's low on THC nine and a half percent ten ten percent THC and one to three percent CBD so it's it's kind of like a, a low le lows kind of low CBD kind of uh, you know product and what what they're doing is, like I said, they're they're collecting different companies to sell through this website, Canmark. And just to show you guys what I mean by this, uh, today they just came up with news explaining that they have signed supply agreements with Rocky Mountain Marijuana Incorporated, including a 20% first right of refusal. So this means like they have a right to refuse product if it's not of the quality in which they they demand. So I mean, it's a good thing to have. It's basically like, look, if you're not providing us with what you say you are, we're not. We have a right to refuse 20% of the order to kind of save our, you know, save a little bit of our our money if if it's not what the exact kind of product. But I would assume like this this is a, a Colorado-based company that that's producing uh, in Colorado. So I would assume that they're doing pretty good, and that they're um, in order to be doing like good as a company, they're they're probably producing pretty good product. So this is just kind of shows you what they're do they're looking to do right they're, they're looking to buy well I shouldn't say buy but looking to partner with companies in order to sell their product through their website so in doing so they can essentially stand back and just make money off of other people they don't have to worry about the production of, of the sale of cannabis although they are they do own their own cultivation facilities they're sim w through um, Canmar what they're looking to do is simply make money through retail they're just a retailer they're the middlemen but that's not a bad place to be in because it's guaranteed profit and you don't have to worry about the overhead in terms of production or the cost of manufacturing so one thing that um, that makes this uh, interesting as well is if you look at um, if you look at uh, so now I think it's stuff to go away um, if you look at this uh, other piece of news that came out basically at the same time is the Rocky Marijuana, uh, Rocky Mountain Marijuana um, partnership. Uh, Namaste announces that it's pleased to announce that the company's wholly owned subsidiary Namaste MD has signed a patient services agreement with Buds2Go.ca. Buds2Go is an online platform which holds over 80,000 users in its database with over 100,000 weekly sessions. Subject to the terms of the agreement, Buds2Go will offer users access to medical cannabis consultations through the company's wholly owned subsidiary and online patient portal Namaste MD. So what Namaste MD is, is, is essentially like for medical um, purposes, so they will hire medical clients, they already have uh, tens of thousands of medical clients established, so what they look to do is, is to gain patients through Namaste and then direct those, uh, Namaste MD, and direct those patients to Canmart. So you have basically not only a platform for retail um, sale through Canmar, but it's also a medical um, uh, retailer as well. So basically through this partnership to, with buds to go what they're looking to do is they're looking to not only partner with buds to go and gain access to that market, so, so they, they gain access to the 30 to like say uh, 50,000, 80,000 users and the, the 100,000 weekly sessions so they get their name associated with buds to go and not only that, but they, they gain a platform in, in which to allow their patients to gain access to buds to go but to also gain access to Canmart. So basically it just gives them more options and more market share. right? So th this is what they're looking to do. They're basically looking to partner with e-commerce and in online dispensaries, online cannabis suppliers to essentially, or so, um, you know, cannabis companies that are looking to sell their products online through online dispensaries, and they're looking to um, gain as access to as much market share and as, and as many users as they can. So, what one thing that this uh, also talks about down here. Um, 
is that like, like the company expects to see a significant increase in patient acquisition through Namaste MD as buds to go not only maintains a large database of users but also has a very strong organic search traffic rankings that set over 100,000 users uh, weekly users by leveraging Namaste's Namaste MD's platform buds to go is able to offer users with access to a simple and convenient platform to access medical cannabis consultations with a trained professional um, so basically what they're explaining is this is like focused on medical right but but the biggest um to me the biggest news here is not is 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 the rocky mountain um supply agreement um although you know obviously getting at partnered with buds to go is a big big uh, step to increasing their online kind of uh market share and and kind of uh uh image their online image and and kind of access to their name is going to be spread out and they're going to have access to more part more eyes basically because they have more patients and more users um, but the other thing is with this agreement it's kind of a milestone for them because Rocky Mountain Marijuana is one of the first companies other than like RC Friendships and Supreme which is which are obviously companies they've already partnered with but this just shows you that they're not only um, they're not only accessing Canadian companies but they're looking globally for the best Producers are looking for Colorado companies that have already established, that have already made millions of dollars selling um, premium product, premium dried flour, and they're bringing that to you through their website. So look to see more of this, but this is just a milestone for them because it shows you that they can achieve what they set out to do. Like I said, they they, they told us that they were going to bring you access to a very wide range of cannabis that is not necessarily going to be accessed on other websites, and they're going to have new innovative products and new like you know. Um, unique products, and this is just a showing you that they're they're doing exactly what they said they are. And not only this, but we also saw um, earlier how um, the the Aurora um, vaporizer cartridges are now um, being sold through the Aurora website and also through Namaste because the Aurora cartridges um, are pre-filled by Aurora, but the 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 vaporizers themselves. Are manufactured by Namaste, and and this is one of the things that you'll see is you know Namaste is essentially looking to continue to expand their market share to partner with companies and to essentially continue to uh, gain access to different markets. Like I said, this is this is their selling you know gaining access to their Aurora markets through um, their own vaporizer technology that they can partner with Aurora to then um, sell right so well, I just want to show you that like um, so right here right and this is this is what I was talking about when I was when I was saying that like they it's it's actually the um, it's actually the so Aurora Cannabis and Namaste Technologies today announced that the companies have signed an exclusive hardware supply agreement with, for the Canadian market. Pursuant to the agreement, Aurora through its website and mobile app will offer, will offer a specifically curated selection of industry leading vaporizers which will be sourced from Namaste. So right there, Aurora and Namaste, Namaste is making their vaporizers, they're pre-filling them with their CBD and they're selling them through Aurora's website and probably soon to be through Canmark. So, it just shows you their access to different companies. Like I said, their vaporizer companies are um, throughout the world. They have um, they have companies they have companies um, they have companies all over the world. Like this company here, Everybody Does It. Ca. Um, you might not realize it. You know, you see it as just another head shop, online head shop, but it's owned by Namaste. And that's and that's one of the things that you're going to see is like continuing to build market share and these companies reach all the way globally to Brazil to you know European markets that are opening up to maybe Latin American markets and to Asian markets so access to millions if not billions and billions uh, millions and millions if not billions of clients so it just shows that Namaste is continuing to expand and to accelerate and to continue to grow their company and promise and come through on their on their promises of innovative just being innovative in the cannabis market so tell me let me know what you think um, this is I'm gonna end it here but namaste is my stock pick of the week and I think this stock will jump to six dollars uh, in a few months and probably ten dollars by the end of next year so thank you have a good day